Hello everyone and welcome to the Academic Search Complete demonstration for Keyword Searching 2. In this video, we are going to put together a pretty complex search phrase and use it to search Academic Search Complete for a scholarly journal article. Unlike the library catalog, the article databases like Academic Search Complete and Research Library ProQuest can use all of the different tools that we've been learning, so they benefit from having more complex searches. You will need to list both the keywords that you started with and any synonyms or related terms that you're adding to your search. I started off with non-native speakers and writing. I added in as related terms bilingualism, which is what it's called when you can speak more than one language, and then second language, because when you're talking about a non-native speaker, you're normally talking about them in the context of their second language. I have to make a search phrase that combines all of these keywords and uses at least two Boolean operators, nesting, phrase searching, and truncation. So let's look at what we left off with. I started with non-native speakers in phrase searching, since it's a phrase and not a single word. I used and to connect it to writing because we wanted results that had both keywords. When I look to add in bilingualism and second language, these are similar to non-native speakers. So it would make the most sense to or them together. As long as it mentions at least one of these, it's still relevant to my search. Anytime I use or, I also need to use nesting in order to search that portion of the search phrase first. Just like non-native speakers, second language is a phrase. It takes two words to get the idea that I want to search. So I'll also add phrase searching around it. Finally, we have truncation. Truncation looks at variations of a word, taking the root and then expanding it out. This is really useful if you have something that is written a little bit different, even though it means basically the same thing. For example, with writing, by putting the truncation symbol here, I will get results that mention writing, write, and writes, all related to writing, but just spelled a little different. Similarly, if I use the truncation for bilingual, I'll get it as a single word and I'll get it as an idea. So it's a way to get some variations that would be helpful to me. This then is my complete search phrase. When we're searching these in Academic Search Complete, first we have to get to Academic Search Complete. Go to the Articles and Databases tab and then click on Academic Search Complete. If you are off campus, you'll need to log in with your, eight, your W number on your six digit birthday. If you separate out your search phrase instead of keeping it all in one box, that's fine. But you need to separate it out so that all the things connected with OR and nesting are put in one box and then your ANDed word is in a second box. Now I need to put the limiters that are in place from the scenario, which were full text, scholarly peer reviewed journals, in the English language, all of these we've done before. For the five year range, under limit your results, there's a section called published date. You don't have to indicate a month, just a year. So if I were doing 2020, a five year range would be 2015, to 2020. Now that I have all my limiters in place and I have my search phrase, I'm going to search. Eight hundred and thirty eight results may seem like a lot, but if you think back to our very earliest assignments where we were getting 15 or 20,000 or more results, 838 is pretty good. We could still narrow it some 
but we're in a good spot to start reviewing things and see what's relevant and how we can change up our search strategy. I'm going to select one of the results that looks interesting to me and has all my keywords in it. I am going to use this one. Predicting writing development in dual language instructional context, exploring cross-linguistic relationships. While a mouthful that does contain a lot of my different keywords, and it does so in a way that makes sense. So it talks about writing. It also talks about bilingualism. And it does mention second language as well. So that's a pretty good sign that this will be relevant to me. I would take down the article title and periodical title, as well as the citation, permalink, and subject terms. In this database, the article title is not labeled. It's the very first thing at the top of the record. The periodical title, or the scholarly journal that this article is published in, is listed in the source field. But note that not everything in the source field is the periodical title. It's just this first piece. Everything else that I do not have highlighted are different pieces of citation information. The citation and permalink tools are given in the tools menu on the right. When I'm looking at the subject terms, there are two that are identical to the ones I searched, bilingualism and writing. So those are the ones that I would record here. I hope you find this video helpful as you complete the assignment, and I'll see you in the next video.